feels that way. Um, hello everybody. Welcome to another awesome team call Tuesday night, yes. Tuesday evening. I don't know about you guys, but that song reminds me of Hot Tub Time Machine. Every time I hear it. Motley Lou. Motley Lou. Great movie. You can't, you can't beat that. Um, but yeah, thanks to everyone that's hopping on. We should have some more people hopping on as we, as we get going. Some new coaches that are probably trying to figure out how they operate the Zoom app. But um, yeah, we just kind of wanted to talk about a couple things tonight um, and go over it. And then if you guys had any questions or anything, you can definitely ask as well. Um, post on the team page a couple of days ago, and then I went live about the, the Team Cup, which mm -hmm. is basically a chance for you to join little subgroups of um, coaches where, you know, you can learn more about yourself and the business and hitting success club and rank advancing and, and you can earn prizes for it. And, and basically they do team cups, like the first part of the year, then the last part of the year to like start off the year with momentum and then in the year with momentum. And it's kind of just learning more about, you know, it works for you doing like little weekly calls and good chats. Like, motive, like a little extra motivation. Yeah. Like push. And you know, you get like, you win prizes for it. Um, you can start leading your own little group calls and talking with people and just kind of getting more comfortable with yourself in the business and uh, pushing yourself and, and hitting those vital behaviors of rank advancing and hitting success club and, and getting people on, on programs and stuff. And then you take that momentum through the rest of the year. So that's going to be starting in February and I created my team cup team today. Um, so they all should have got emails for that. Um, and then uh, just focusing um, one of my team goals, you know, is recognition with uh, coaches who are, are, work in the business and doing all the right things with documenting their journey and asking questions and, and being on calls and, and letting them know that and awarding people's gifts and stuff when they hit success club and, you know, rank advance and, and they're sharing their journey and they're documenting all the time. And they're, they're talking about it, like really recognizing, recognizing those coaches and um, doing a better job of making sure liking and commenting on the post on the team page and, on your personal pages and stuff like that uh, to let you guys know because I mean like I always say we've all had jobs you know where we worked and you didn't feel like you got the recognition you deserved or you're working hard and, you know you feel like maybe people don't care or whatever and we want to make make you guys feel appreciated and, and um, appreciated, appreciated and, uh, that, that you're here and we're thankful for you guys because we love what we're doing we love when you guys are you know showing up on the team calls you know because People are in school, they have kids, or, or it's late, or whatever, and being on here, you know, it's it's easy to do, but it's, it's also easy not to do, so showing up is is a win in my book, and we appreciate that, and, and growing your business and doing challenge groups and helping people out, we're thankful for that, so we're really doing our best to help all the people and let you know when you're doing um, an awesome job with that, so um, recognition is a huge huge thing that we're really trying to enforce on the team page and um, it's still early, but it's been a good, good start. Our challenge groups are blowing up and I know a few other people are running their own challenge groups and that's really awesome too. And we've had uh, the most successful start to our year to a year in our business since we started coaching. That's our team, um, not our yeah. At, well, as our team and our business um, with adding coaches and, and, and new people and people, increasing the volume on the team and more people hop around team calls and starting the challenge groups and all that. And it's, it's really awesome to see, you know, because when we started this a couple of years ago, I'm sure you guys all have the same doubts, right? What am I doing? I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, is this, is this for me? Like you have all these doubts and, but you believe in yourself and you believe in your business and you're like, I'm just gonna do these things every day and I'm going to give it time and, and let it take over. And, and now it's, it's two years later and it's completely changed our lives from where we started. I mean, Bend, Oregon to Puerto Rico, that's a complete opposite 
change big time, you know? Well, and this is like a time business. Like, you have to be patient with it. Uh, there obviously are people that, like, go crazy in their first year and, like, do crazy things. But a lot of the time, it's going to take three, four years before you actually see, like, a big growth in your business and income. So just know, like, be in this for the long run. <laughs> the long haul. The long haul. Um, and don't give up just after six months or a year. Like, it takes time. Like, we're just getting into our third year. And it's just now starting to... And the biggest move. thing and what we're going to be talking about tonight on the call, um, because the perfect time since we're still so fresh in the year, is not only giving it the time, but also being... Consistent. Consistent. And we talk about that all the time. I'm sure if, if you've done calls with me, I'm going to tell you the same thing. Be consistent. Um, because that's what works. I mean, it's, it's tried and true. Well, it's, side note real quick. Yes. With that. It's with consistency, but um, I hope you guys all listen to Bonnie Engel's call, National Wake Up Call from yesterday. Um, and basically, she was telling this story I have how she was in the hospital at, what, 12 or something? 12 or 13. 12 for, like, this illness, and this girl, she was, like, super negative mindset, and this girl would constantly come to her room every single day to ask her to go to this playroom or whatever. And even if Bonnie was, like, rude to her or just ignored her or whatever, she showed up for her every single day and invited her every single day. And eventually, Bonnie's mind started to flip and be like, well, why is she so happy? Like, maybe I do need to go to this room. And it was because that girl was so consistent with inviting her that it eventually turned into her – she obviously tells it way better, but that, like, sums up that part of well, the story. Well, she, she was consistent with inviting her, but she was also showing her with her actions. Like, yeah, she wasn't just exactly. like, hey, come to the playground with me. Like, she's like, why? Like, she was coming back, and she was excited, and she was happy, and was in a better mood that she went to the playground. So how does that relate to coaching? Like, if you're excited, and you're passionate about, you just did your workout, like, your challenge group's killing it, you got off a team call, like, tonight, and you're just, like, super motivated, tell people about it. Be like, you need to be a part of this. Like, I love this. And like, it shouldn't matter. Good. It shouldn't matter if people are telling you no or negative towards you or whatever. If it makes you happy, then share it. Because if they're constantly seeing you happy – and this is, and if it it's for them, then eventually they're gonna have that mindset change, and they're gonna be like, okay, well, this person's been happy for over a year now. Like, what is she doing? Why is she so happy? Yeah, and being consistent with, yeah. with sharing that, and like, I mean, like I always say too, like if I see your posts on social media, that means other people are seeing them, and like, you know, we. I'm working on a little project for, for the team, but like we see what people post and like, um, well, my new coaches, I'm scrolling on Facebook and I see her talking about meal prep and people are like, Oh, you know, I don't know what to eat or whatever. So she shares her meal prep, you know, and like, that's awesome. And then scroll through and I see Rachel and she's showing a, a video of her doing 12 day fix. And like the accountability, like that's the big thing. It's like, you can actions speak way louder than words because you can be like, Oh, I want to lose weight. And then yeah. you don't ever show anything. And maybe you do lose weight, but um, you're not showing it. So, like, Rachel, a perfect example is, is like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm not perfect. I miss my days. I, I fall off track. Like, we all do. Like, I, I ate some freaking chocolate cake before my run today. I'm no, I'm no perfect saint. Like, I never say that. But she's showing her accountability. Like, hey, you know, I, I'm doing it today. And you're seeing it. And here's a video of me doing it or a post-workout selfie or whatever, like, mm -hmm. to let people know. And the more people see it, the more in their head they go, well, Rachel struggled, you know, like with staying consistent and stuff like that and figuring out how to like stay on track with nutrition. And now she's better with it. Like, what did she, what did she do? And then they reach out and she can be like, well, I, I still struggle, but it's just about focusing on the, the this. Isn't it like actions speak louder than words? Is that the That's phrasing? Like said. Did you say that? I she doesn't out. listen to me sometimes. I I out. She's oh, right here. I just... This is exactly what I said. <laughs> I just see that. This is what I deal with. Uh, anyways, well, I just want to also add on to that is like, I. <laughs> sorry. This is my husband. I tune him out. I like auto tune or whatever it's called. Go ahead. What's it called? Keep going. Auto tune is no. singing in your music. What's that like? Selective hearing. Yes. Yeah, selective hearing. Anyways, um, 
recently I've been getting messages from people. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm choking on a cheese seed right now. Um, I've been getting messages from people that, that I like, I've never really, I've never reached out to, but they messaged me. And the first thing they normally say is I've been seeing what you're doing and I've been watching you for however long they've been watching me. And it's because I, I post consistently and I share consistently every single day, even when I don't want to. But I know that one, I'm showing up for myself, but I'm also showing up for those people that look forward to my posts every day. Like maybe what I'm posting that day is that one positive thing they get each day. And so just showing up for that also. Yeah, because, I mean, it's your own accountability, you know, especially with the challenge groups and stuff and the team page. You know, you, you post in there because you want to show you did something. Um, but it, for me, it also keeps me on track because with how many challenges we have all the time, if I'm not sharing myself, then they're going to go, well, Cam didn't post today. Like, I, it's, late, it's late where I'm at, you know, like maybe I won't do my workout today. But I post and it's late for them and they're like, well, crap, like he did his workout. I, I don't want to fall off track. Like he's counting on me. I need to do it. So, you know, you have to lead uh, with you. And, and the reason why we invite you guys and, and you become coaches is you're already either on your fitness journey or you want to get more into it. And, and you're the example. You're the, the leaders to all those people out there. And I think that's the, the mind shift that you, you go through um, with this business is you start believing yourself and seeing yourself as a leader and sometimes it happens right away sometimes it takes longer but it, it's pretty crazy when it happens when somebody comes out to you and then, like I've seen with Rachel because she's been in a lot of my free free groups and added people in there and I've talked to the people she's added and they've been like oh I see Rachel's post like it's so awesome I'm so happy she made me a part of this like she inspires me so much and it's like that's, that's awesome like that's exactly what we want it's it's not selling programs to sell programs. It's, it's literally helping people feel better about themselves and they have more energy and like, uh, let's see, I think Annie probably knows, Rachel definitely knows. I might be the only people because everyone's so new, but in my free groups, we have a lot of the same people month to month and then we do have some new people come in, but there's one lady um, from Massachusetts Freak, I swear she is me. She's the older she's female, the older female <laughs> version of me. Her name's Kim Velke, and she is awesome. And she doesn't care what people think of her, just like me. And she'll do, she'll dress up, she'll do crazy videos, and she'll post it and tag me in it. And like, she did one the other day where she's doing ab stuff, and she's on the floor like, what is she saying? Like, baby, got to ride the bike, and she's doing like bicycles for abs, and she's ridiculous, and she like tag me and she's laughing and I'm like that's hilarious and like a year ago she was overweight and self-conscious and didn't have like high self-esteem like she's like I need she felt like at her age she, she couldn't do anything like I'm in my 50s like lost cause I'm like Kim like I'll tell you what I'm, I'm gonna be 30 but I guarantee you when I'm your age I'm still gonna be kicking ass with what I'm doing because I don't want to ever lose that like you can get that and it was talking to her and, and helping her believe that she can do it. And she's lost weight. She's doing all these programs. She's doing all the free groups. She's going live with her friends in Michigan to do a live workout with them, like coaching them. Like, come do a video with me. And we're going to work out together and do toilet and fix together. And I'm like, that is amazing. Like, it just went down the pipeline that now she's helping people um, in her life. And that's a huge thing. And it's all being, it starts with being consistent. Consistent with yourself number one and, and I think the biggest thing you have to realize is not every day is going to be a great day not every day is going to be an easy day there's going to be times when you don't want to work out when you want to eat all the candy when you want to take naps all day when the weather's crappy and you don't want to do anything you know and you're just feeling down and, and it's okay to, to miss a day you know like you don't work out you you went to the buffet like you went crazy and you feel like crap the next day but you wake up and that's what I've been saying like really about this year is focusing on each day is who cares what happened yesterday? Like you could have had the worst day of your life yesterday, but today is a new day. It's, it's all how you react to the situation. It's like you can't control everything that happens to you, but you can definitely control your attitude and how you react to those situations and just staying consistent all the time with your workouts and with the business and the team calls and stuff. Like I guarantee you, you're going to have success and 
And what speaker working? I think so. Okay. I mean, the no one's on like. The side keeps going off. I mean, this the microphone. Yeah. I think that's the our catching our okay. noise and volume. Okay. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure if they couldn't hear us, they'd be like, "Hey, we can't hear you." I would hope, but um, but yeah, just staying consistent. I, I encourage you guys because time flies by Wait, super quick. It's already halfway through July. Over January. Shoot, January. It's, January. <laughs> it's not July yet. <laughs> We're halfway through January. Like, it, God, it I hope it feels it's like <laughs> it feels like July because it's so nice outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a J. Um. But I, I promise you this, like promise is a strong word because you can never like guarantee, but I, I can guarantee this. I promise you, you stay consistent with your fitness and your nutrition and your business all year, all 2017. You're going to be in the best shape of your life. You're going to feel better than you ever have. And your business will grow because I, I guarantee you, if you're talking to people every day, you're documenting your journey. You're working out, you're sharing that, you're showing up on team calls, there's you're gonna be in a better spot. Like if you don't work out for a year and you're Stay worse off, yeah. like you're gonna be in way better shape. It's just the year's gonna go by super fast. Like we've almost been married three years now, which has gone by We've been together super almost fast. Seven. We've been yeah, been together almost seven. I've been out of high school for freaking thirteen years. Like has it been thirteen? Yeah. This Ooh. is the thirteenth year. Like what? Like, I remember sitting in chemistry class, like it was yesterday, like eating rodeo cheeseburgers from Burger King, my buddy Chris. And now he's married with two kids. I'm married, like, he just turned 30, I'm turning 30. Like, it goes by quick. So, so time's going to pass anyway, but you can choose if you're just going to kind of like lollygag and, and do whatever and just let life push you around. Or you're like, I'm going to take control of my life and I'm going to be in charge. I'm going to do these things every day and build it up. And I think the biggest advice I can give you guys, like coach wise and business wise, and, and you're going to do it anyway, but you know, just think about this when you do is don't compare yourself to, to other coaches in the business because you're completely different. You know, your, your journey is different. Your personality is different. What you talk about is so different and somebody could just sign up and, and they go diamond in a month. And then you sign up and, you know, it takes you a year to get diamond, like her. It took her over a year to get diamond. I did it in four months. Like, that's the thing. And, you know, she can't look at me like, oh, I'm a failure. I, I didn't get it in four months. No, we're just different, different people. But you have to do what's um, comfortable for you and, and what you're able to do, but just showing up on a consistent basis no matter what. Like, you have a bad day, who cares? You're, that's yesterday. Today's a new day. You, you get back on track and not – getting your letting yourself get too far down the negative path because as soon as you miss one day working out it turns into two and then turns into three and then you stop talking to people and then you miss team calls and then you're in this downward spiral and half the year goes by and you're like oh my god i need to get back on track well if you wouldn't let that one day turn into two to three to four if you would just brushed to the side and started fresh those six months would have went by with positivity and consistency and you'd be in a way better spot so um you know, and, and that's what we always say, you know, don't be afraid to reach out to us. I, I, I guarantee you, if you talk to anyone who's ever done a one-on-one -on -one call with me, I've never yelled at anybody. I've never said you're stupid, like you're a failure. It's like trying to figure out like why you're struggling, like how to get back on track, like get that success flowing again. Um, because we want to help you guys and we want to have success for for everybody. And we, I feel like we say it all the time, but like it's it's no fun when, you get recognized like on a success club leaderboard or a national wake up call or whatever. And it's just you, you know, like we're not in this for ourselves. We're in this for the team and providing success for everyone. I wanted to be where there's a national wake up call for rank advancements. And I hear nine of my coaches on there. I'm like, Holy crap. Like nine coaches advance their business. And we're at summit and we're all walking across the stage and we're all have our names up on um, the boards. There when people are walking in. Like it's, it's not about us. It's about, you guys and that's why we put so much effort into the, the team with trainings and doing calls and being there because we want success for for everybody because we have fun and you know it's it's fun to be successful but we don't want to be the the only one so i get way more stoked for you guys when you rank advancing and you're doing great things in your business because um 
it means that it's working and you guys are seeing seeing it and believing it and I think that's the the biggest thing and um it, it sounds dumb and I love analogies and stuff but it's like uh you you have to see it to believe it and it's like Santa Claus you know like they always say like seems to believe in like Santa Claus the movie you know but like once you actually see you can do it and then you believe you can do it then it's easy because you just replicate the process and I think that's the the hold in so many people's minds is they just don't see it and they don't believe it so they don't do it um and and that's the stickler it's like you got to start seeing it and doing it and then you believe you can do it and that's when it takes off like like I'm not great at a lot of things. I can't sew. I can't sing. I can't play guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can sing. It's not very yeah, good. I can sing. It's just not well. But if I want to get better at those things, I can. You know how I get better at those things? I just take that first step. I go take a freaking guitar lesson, and I show up at that guitar lesson day after day, week after week, month after month. And I guarantee you, if I show up consistently for the whole year, I'm probably gonna be able to play the guitar pretty damn good in a year but if i show up and go i can't play the guitar i play the strings for like three minutes realize i suck and then put the guitar away for the whole year the year goes by I'm like oh man i feel like never i know i can't play the guitar like i tried for three minutes of course not like this this business is exactly the same way you know you can't just show up here and there and put a little bit of effort in on a friday and then like February, I'm going to recommit to my workouts, and then I'll get on a team call in April, and I'll do a call with Cam and Court, like, in May, and, and then maybe I'll share my workout accountability, like, next Tuesday, and then at the end of the year, like, well, my business didn't do anything, like, I'm not in the shape I want to be, like, no one listens to me or cares, I'm like, well, consistency, that's the, that's the biggest thing, you know, like, wow, what keeps you on track? with being consistent? Like, why do you post every day? Why do you do this stuff? Well, first off, for myself, because my own fitness, I obviously post every day for my own accountability. Um, but obviously, like, we have, we see the potential that this opportunity has for us and all of you. Um, and so, personally, that's what drives me every day to show up. And that's why we also talk about why it's so important to have a strong why. And like why you started this and like what is your long-term vision that you have in life like what do you want to do it doesn't necessarily have to be beach body like who has it that wants to own the coffee shop Sasha. ashley yeah like she wants to open up a coffee shop that's freaking awesome like she can use this business to be able to get to that point to open up that coffee shop so you have to have that why that pushes you every single day like maybe you want to have enough money to retire your spouse. Maybe um, you want to have enough money to send your kids to college and not have to worry about taking a loan out. Like whatever it is, you need to really sit down and think about it and write down your whys on why, why, we, why you want to do this in the first place. Yeah, and, and the perfect coffee shop scenario, like imagine this, like if you want to open up a coffee shop, you know, like a little stand, like a Pacific Northwest stand, you know, you got to get the building, you got to get all the supplies, marketing, your business license, all that. It's money. It's expensive. What is the normal route? You go to the bank, you finance 100000 150000 200000 whatever it is to get this going. And then it's stressful as crap when you open up mm -hmm. because you have a you're loan that you have to pay. You're in debt. Maybe, you know, your, your monthly um, loan amount is like two grand. So if you do not make two grand your first month, you don't even, you're already in the hole for paying your loan. Like, and then you're stressed out and you're trying to like sell people in your coffee that come on stand and you're not having fun, you're stressed out. Well, let's say you built up your beach buy business to a comfortable point to where instead of taking out a loan from the bank to open up your dream coffee shop, you just bought everything with cash and you open up your coffee shop and it's really truly about loving to help people with coffee. There's no stress because you paid for everything. It's okay. not just about doing what you love. What are you like doing? that's exactly what you're talking about is you get to eliminate that. And you know, us moving to Puerto Rico, like, yeah, it's us physically here. But when the scary stuff came down that we had to pay the money to ship our car and drive across the country. And like, it was scary leaving family and living on an Island, like all that. A lot of it was 
accountability to show you guys like and what i mean by that is to show you like this is what's possible like i like we had doubts in our mind like is this really what we should do like whatever but obviously we want to live here but also to show you guys like well is this business for real like what can i really do with it like blah blah like a lot of you guys have met us in person you've seen us on these team calls like we've been talking for a while we're real people and we moved to this island because of we were able to build our business so if we can do this anybody can like i'm not any smarter than you i'm not any better than you i don't know all these tricks that i'm not doing something that we're withholding like we give everything out to you and we're transparent like this is what's working and it just took time and consistency yeah. so if you want to do a coffee shop you can do it if you want to open up a fish and guide service you can do it if you want to buy a car with cash and not have car payments you can do it if pay you want to help kids pay off debt whatever quit your job so you can spend time with your kids and your family, you can do it, but it's all up to you. That's Number the hard one. part about this business is it really is up to you. You don't have anyone telling you what to do. And so that's where like a lot of, what's it called? I don't know, like self-motivation or something. Because that's, uh, again, the sticking point is, is your quote unquote normal jobs. You clock in, you have a manager and like I'll tell Ashley, I'm like, hey, it's eight o'clock. You got to, you know, respond to messages on the telephone. You got to answer these emails. You got to go clean the break room. You got to do this. And she gets told what to do and she gets paid her money and she goes, goes about the day. You know, someone's telling her what to do. This is different. You know, we provide stuff like tips and business tips to do it. But if you don't do it, okay, you just don't do it. I don't say, hey, did you message people today? Like, you're fired. Or like, you know, did you do your follow ups? Oh, you didn't do those? Like, well, I'm taking you off the schedule tomorrow. Like, it's 100% on you to do the actions, you know, and the more of that you do, the better it's going to be. And the more you see things happening and um, it, it always is funny when people get their first challenger, or sign up their first coach and they're so stoked, like the light bulb went off in their head. You know, like Tommy's not on this call. He always works on uh, Tuesday nights, but he coached for almost a year, I think before he got his first coach. He got some challengers and he helped people with Shakeology and some programs, but almost a full year of being a coach and he had never gotten a coach before. And then guess what happened? He got one and saw that he could do it. And then by the end of the month, he had three. So nothing for almost a year. And then as soon as he got that first one, something clicked and it wasn't that he was actually doing something different. He just believed he could do it and it totally changed his mindset. And then he got three and I'm like, that's that's what it is. As soon as somebody sees like the first one, they're like, "Oh my god, I can, I can do it." I'm like, yeah, of course you can. We all can freaking do it. Like I, I think I tallied up today. Like we're still like halfway through the month. We've already had 13 new coaches join the team in the first half of the month. Like that's <laughs> unreal. Like that's awesome. I remember when we didn't even have 13 coaches on the team at all. Like it was just me, and there was me and her. Zoe. That's Zoe. If you hear her in the background, she's fine. She's got to collapse. She's, she's fine. fine. Don't worry about the, the choking sound. She's fine. <laughs> Zoe, we're trying to do a oh video call. Gosh. Are you good? No, 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 she's fine. No, she's fine. See, this is why I don't have children. The, the mom, like, oh my God, go get the baby. I'm like, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> um, that's off topic, but, uh, but just consistency. Consistency is the biggest thing. And, um believing that you can you can do it and um i encourage you guys if you haven't listened to bonnie ingles national wake up call from yesterday can we post it on the team page uh, i think i posted it because it's on the training website so i think i'm posting the team page just posted the, the chat page it's just a recording you just listen to it on your phone or whatever you can go about doing whatever i think it's like 30 minutes long or something yeah but it's, but worth it's it. totally worth the listen it's gold yeah and um, and that's a perfect example of what motivates me each day. I mean, a lot of things motivate me each day, but my life is pretty awesome. Um, I'm, I'm decently healthy as far as I know. Like, I have a pretty able body. Like, I live in Puerto Rico. Like, we made it happen. And there's people that have it way worse off than me. So when I'm having, if I have a little pity party, I'm like, I don't want to work out. Like, I don't want to work. Blah, blah blah. There's people that don't have jobs and don't have legs and are confined to a bed and like. Like my grandma this year, if you guys don't know, she had a really um, severe medical issue that where she had a stroke and she lost. Okay, um, she lost uh, 
most of the feeling left side of her body and she can kind of get in a wheelchair now, but she can't operate herself. She has to get helped in and out of bed, like completely change your life. And that's like when I'm out suffering in the heat of the day on my run and I feel like quitting, I think of her. Like she can't even walk. And I'm out here like running. I'm like, oh, I want to quit. I'm like, grams, grams can't even get in a wheelchair by herself. Like she can't even go to the bathroom by herself anymore. So I need to suck it up. Like, yeah, it's hot. Yeah, my legs hurt. But guess what? I have that ability to feel that. And she doesn't. So that's the kind of stuff that pushes me and motivates me. And, and I encourage you guys to... Yeah, I encourage you guys to think of that stuff. Like, you're all pretty blessed and pretty lucky, you know? Like, we all, you're all in a house somewhere, and a lot of people don't even have that. So that's already one thing, you know, that, that we're blessed with. So um, just be consistent with, with yourself and lead with that, and then, and then give yourself time, and, and don't be too hard on yourself because everyone's so different. Um, but just, just have fun yeah. with it and, and show up for yourself and show up for the team and, and ask questions, you know? If you're struggling, you want to do a call and ask questions. Like there's so many avenues to get help with us and the team page and the chats we have going on. Like we're always here to help people. And if, if we don't know you're struggling, if you have questions, then, then we can't help. But um, reach out and we can, we can get that stuff solved. Yeah, so. and just remember that we're not selling programs. We're selling the lifestyle. We're, not, we're, we're promoting ourselves there. Well, promoting programs, we're promoting ourselves. So lead with yourself 100% and it's really all you can do. Yeah, because when people see what you're doing, they go, what are you doing? Like, you look amazing. Like, you look fantastic. They want to know what you're doing. You don't have to lead with, like, I'm doing quarter force. Like, you can if you want, but you can just be like, I'm doing my MMA workout. It's day six. Like, I feel great. Like, oh, my God. Like, you look amazing. Like, I see your posts all the time. What are you doing? And you just tell them. You tell them what you're doing. Like, nothing wrong with that, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm like, I eat Skittles. I love Skittles. Like, oh, cool. <laughs> nothing wrong with that, you know? Yeah. Um, so don't be afraid to talk to people and share yourself and just open up. But um, for, for new coaches and stuff, uh, we try to keep these calls to about 30 minutes just so it doesn't take a lot of time up from um, your right. day. Uh, fit a lot in there, but... Uh, we never make anyone talk if you don't want to, which is awesome because no one ever wants to get picked on if they don't want to share. But uh, do, do, do any of you guys have anything that you wanted to ask or share about, like about your week or questions or, or anything at all? You can unmute yourself, or if you don't know how to do that, wave your hand and I can unmute you um, if you want to talk or chat or share. Yeah, you don't then, have a picture up, then, then I can't see you waving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we're good. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. Well, you don't have to talk. Um, we appreciate you guys, as always, taking time out of your night to hop on to these calls. Uh, we like we like seeing everyone on here. It's pretty cool. So. Yep. Yeah, we appreciate it. And like I said, it's we say it all the time, but it's just putting in the time and consistency because none of you guys were around two years ago when we started and we signed up for our first coach and we did these Zoom calls and it's like, team call to one person, <laughs> show up on the team call. And it was just us sitting here looking at ourselves. So it's came a long ways. And that's a lot of doubt you could have. You're staring at yourself going, where's everyone at? Okay, cool. It's ended after two minutes because no one's here. And now we have 9, 10, 11 people on team calls and more people on the team pages. So you have to believe and you have to keep showing up because that's – if we quit, nobody would be here. And we wouldn't be where we're at. So you just have to keep, keep doing it, keep showing up, keep having fun, and, and stay true to you. So – Thank you guys so much for, for being